hi guys and welcome back to our channel it's the one and only girl pina thank you so much for coming again today today we are going to talk about the cost of decking the materials needed their uses and how you yourself can calculate your materials for your decking so if you are interested in this video stay tuned don't get anywhere while we dive into the video but before that Please do me a favor by subscribing to our channel. If you haven't done that, please hit that subscription button. It's free, absolutely free. Like the video so that YouTube can recommend it for others and also help you get to share the video, okay? So that you can get to others who are interested in such or in this kind of information or video. Thank you so much. We are starting the we are starting with the materials needed for this work firstly we are starting with the carpentry or the woodwork the woodwork here will be needing bamboo one by 12 plank two by two plank nails these are the materials that the carpenter will be using you'll be wondering what are they being used for bamboo as we all know let me read it through okay the deck is always supported at the at the bottom with bamboo so that the woodwork doesn't fall apart when it gets concreted on also one by two the plank one by two are lined up next to each other and the floor of the deck is made up of two by two woods that are nailed under the planks can you see how they all linked so the bamboo are used to hold the floor of the deck from the ground the next material we'll be using is iron when it comes to decking we'll be needing iron like 12 mm rod uh 8 mm rod 6 mm rod binding wire as well so here is where the iron benders will come in the process is using iron bar to make the deck stronger. It's detailed below. So let's see, let me read it through. 12 mm iron rods are most often used for decking, especially here in Nigeria. I don't know for other places. And there is no more than 150 mm between each length. However, different sizes of rods may be used for decking based on the needs of the building. 12 mm rod, 8 mm rod, 6 mm rod, and binding wires are used for the iron works or to improve the strength of a deck. So a 12 mm rod is used to strengthen the deck, the deck floor and beam. And 8 mm or 6 mm you can use 8 mm or 6 mm rod is used to hold the beam in place and binding wire is used to connect the iron rods so these are their uses the next one is electrical pipes before the concrete is poured electrical pipes are laid inside the deck so that wires can run through them to supply and spread power so Another thing I didn't put in, I, I did not write down here is uh, plumbing pipes. They run some plumbing pipes before the concrete as well, you know, to pass, to connect water. Yeah. So next thing is the putting down of concrete for the decking. In this step, concrete is poured or casted into the deck frame. When it dries, it forms the structure or slab of the deck. For a highly reinforced deck slab to be made, the concrete has to be mixed in the right way. Okay, so decking is made of the following planks of wood that are 1 by 12 wood, 2 by 3 cuts, cuts bamboo nails, binding wire, 2 inches, 3 inches nails. Um, and uh, four quarter bars, you no, know, two and three, sorry, two by three, two by three rods made of iron, four quarter bars, granite, mixing cement, and uh, sand that is very sharp, that is sharp sand, okay? So pipes and parts, pipes for electricity and plumbing. 
then finding out how much it costs now this is what you guys want to hear how much that kind of a building can cost so for you to find out this there are some there are some things you need to look into because all houses are not equal you need to look into how big the house is how much building supplies cost where the job is being done how much your contractor is ready to charge for the job so all this is what will tell you how much you should expect while decking your house so how to figure out how many reinforcement bars are needed for your slabs and the slab area this is how you can calculate your rod by yourself okay turn the slab area into a square to figure out the slab rods secondly figure out how many rods are needed for one span of the square slab only those that run the length of the slab okay thirdly multiply the number for the first span by two to get the total number for the slab this number should go from the length of the slab to its width fourthly figure out the beam rod separately 16 mm rods are common here so you figure it out then figure out the style for the beams Working with 180 square meter of slab space, a square slab is turned into a square by taking the square root of 180. One side of the square slab is 13.42 meter long and one span of the square plate needs rod. Now, add one meter to each end of the slab for a rod length, return of one meter at each end. Now the new length will not be 13.42 anymore. It will now be 15.42 meter. That is that 13.42, which it was plus the one end at each end, one uh, meter at each end, which will now make it 15.42 meter. Rods are 175 mm apart. So now how many rod lines are on one span? 8.1 rod line for every 15.42 meter of block space. Rod length for one span equals to number of rod line on one span times length of slab, which, which will be at 8.1 meter times 15.42 meter, which will give you 1,358.4 meters. One rod is 12 meter long, right? So total rod length for one span divided by rod length equals 113.2 rods. Okay, so to make both width, you need 113.2 rods times 2, which will give you 226.4 rods. Now for the B. Length of all beam rods equals to length of all beam times number of rods in beam section. Now we have 130 meter times 5, which gives us 650 meter. How many bars are needed for the beam? Length is 650 meter as I have worked before uh, above, divided by the 12 meter where length l is for length of the beam rod and that will give us 54.1 rod for that now the the rings how many number of rings you want the number of rings equals to sum of beam length and ring spacing 130 meter divided by 0.25 meter equals 520 rings one ring is one meter long all right so the number of rings times their length gives you the total length of rods you need for rings now 520 rings times one meter will, will give us 520 meter okay so number of rods equals to sum of all the rods 
all the rod's length needed for rings divided by rod's length which is 520 divided by 12 that will give us 43.3 sizes so easy that is how to calculate your rods and your rings okay so now how do you calculate your ch chipping <laughs> let me not bite my tongue that is a granite okay that you need for a slab since concrete is the most common building materials chipping which are used as horse rocks are one of the most important building materials if they are not used properly they can cost a lot you might want to double check how much cement you need for your building job in this case please take these steps firstly ground surface area is 180 meters square the slab is 150 mm which is six inches thick how long the beam is is 130 meters how to figure out slab chip shipping now is how to figure out the slab chipping what am i finding it uh, difficult to pronounce how to uh, how to figure out uh slab chipping needed chipping equals to amount of concrete times the number of tons of chipping per cubic cubic meter so there are 1.7 to 2 tons of chips chipping in every cubic meter of concrete. Okay, that volume of slab, area of slab times thickness of slab to find the volume. So 180 square meter of slab space. We are working with 180 square meter of slab space. Now we have 150 mm of thickness. That is what will be used. Then 180 times 0.15 meter will give you 180 uh, meter cube of slab, which is 27 meter cube. Okay. The volume of beam is equal to the sum of their length, width, and height. So 130 meter times 0 0.225 meter times 0 0.3 meter equals. 8.8 .8 cubic meter 37.9 cubic meter is the total amount here so number of chipping needed equals to 37.9 cubic meter times 1.7 tons per cubic meter this will give us 64.4 metric tons so that is how to calculate that is how to calculate your chipping. So here, yeah, another thing, how you can figure out how much cement that you need for your slab. Cement which holds things together is one of the most important building materials which concrete is so popular with. So if it's not used properly, it can cost a lot as well. You might want to double check how much cement you need for your building job. In this case, please take the necessary step as well. So remember the ground surface area is 180 meters square. The slab is 150 mm, that is 6 inches thick. Then the 150 meter is how long the beam is. How to figure out floor slab cement now is how, uh, how many bags of cement you need equals to how much concrete you need times the number of bags per cubic meter. There are four to seven bags per cubic meter based on how strong the mixture needs to be. The 1.1 ratio, 2 ratio, 4 mix has about seven bags of cement per cubic meter. A mix of 1 ratio, 3 ratio, 6 equals about four bags of cement per cubic meter. So if, you are, if the me measurement is 1 ratio, 2 ratio, 4, you should expect seven bags. But if it's 1 ratio, 3 ratio, 6, you should expect four bags. So five bags of cement per cubic meter is the best amount for quality and, 
and price as well. So volume of slab equals to area of slab times thickness of slab, which is 180 square meter of slab space. Working with 180 square meter of slab space, 150 mm of thickness uh, is 180 times 0.15 meter, which will give us 180 meter cube of slab. 27 meter cube. So mostly beams and slabs are cast together, which means the volume of beams is equal to the sum of their length, width, and height. So 130 meters times 0 0.225 meter times 0 0.3 meter equals 8.8 .8 cubic meter. 35.8 cubic meter of space in total. So 35.8 cubic meter times 5 bags per cubic meter will now give you 35.8 bags. Okay, which will equal to 179 bags of time of limestone. Okay, 179 bags. So for 180 square meter of slab space, 150 mm of thickness, using five bags per cubic meter, you should expect 179 bags of cement. So I believe this is exactly what you need. And I'm, I'm also going to bring uh, a rough estimate of, of a decking. No, tomorrow, yeah, I will make it tomorrow so that you can follow each other for you to see a very clear examples of what I've taught you or what I've explained in this video. If this video was helpful to you, please click the like button, don't forget that, and share the video, and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and your love. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.